The number of people in the world who rely on shared access computers is growing rapidly. Some of the most common places to find shared access computing are schools, internet cafes, and libraries. Schools and computer labs use shared computers as teaching tools. It's important that an educational computer be configured the way the teacher wants. The teacher shouldn't have to waste valuable teaching time troubleshooting these computers. Libraries need cost-effective ways to manage and protect their computers, which are shared by many people and therefore susceptible to security and reliability problems. Internet cafes and kiosks depend on a business model that provides reliable computer access to customers without high overhead costs to acquire and maintain shared computers. Shared access computing is even found at home, where children and adults will sometimes use the same household computer. Shared access situations like these present some special challenges. For one thing, inexperienced users can find the shared computer too complex. It's best to provide an interface that offers only the options the user actually needs. There's also the danger that a change made by one user, either accidental or mischievous, will interfere with the next user's experience. Shared computers have a habit of getting completely bogged down with odd configurations and extra unwanted programs, not to mention viruses and adware. The job of troubleshooting problems on a shared computer doesn't always fall to a person who is a trained IT professional. Hence, it can be a frustrating chore. Too often, that person has to resort to tedious solutions, such as the complete reinstallation of Windows. The shared access team at Microsoft understands the special requirements that come with shared computers and is dedicated to making Windows the easiest, safest, and most efficient platform in the world for shared computing environments. If you're responsible for keeping shared computers running smoothly at your place, you'll want to learn more about Windows Steady State,